Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Marshall. Guys, today I'm gonna be doing, as you can see by the title, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Okay. And so, as I was saying, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and make sure that you like, comment, and share this video. Now let's go ahead and get started. So yes, as the title says, I'm gonna go into some pros and cons of dental hygiene, okay? But let me give you guys some background information. So for those of you who don't know, I am a registered dental hygienist, so an RDH, and I have been doing dental hygiene for seven years. So I graduated in 2016, and yeah, seven whole years, guys. Time flies by when you're having fun. Time flies by when you're having fun, okay? Anyways, back to the topic at hand. Let's talk about some pros and some cons of dental hygiene, okay? Because your girl, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty flavored in dental hygiene. I've worked at a few different offices. Let me think. I've worked at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different offices in the past seven years. Plus, you know, temping like here and there. I did a little bit of temping. So I've, you know... I've gotten my feet wet a bit in the dental field. I'm going to come to you guys and give you guys some, you know, some tea about dental hygiene. So if you're looking into this career, then you're definitely going to want to stay tuned, okay? Because I'm going to keep it all the way 100. All right, so let's get into it. Let's go. So should we start with pros or with cons? I'm going to say let's start with pros i'm so sorry guys my fridge just decided to turn on and start making a noise it must be the devil because why anyways guys so let's start with pros so the first pro i'm gonna go with is come on guys like don't even play like you didn't come here for this because even though we go to school we get careers and we're just saying this is our passion and we're trying to find our passion and what our hearts desires are <laughs> the number one thing baby is the money you know what i'm saying i'm sorry but i'm not gonna be slaving and serving if there ain't no reward so number one thing is gonna be pay guys so that is definitely a pro hands down guys the dental hygiene pay is fantastic. It really, really is. Even like just starting off, like mind you, I graduated in 2016. As soon as I graduated dental hygiene school, which mind you, I went into dental hygiene school pretty much right after high school. Um, I My first job was making $27 an hour. And to me, I was like, oh, for me, little old me, so yeah, that guys, that was like a big deal for me. So even starting out in my career, but I would say like over the past seven years, my salary has grown so much. And I, you know, I can't really speak for everyone else because I really don't know everyone else's things. I don't go around asking people, what's your salary? What's this? What's that? But honestly, over the past seven years, I feel like my um, salary has grown so much and i feel like it's still a short amount of time i do feel like pay wise is super great i think you know at this point in 2023 as soon as you get out of school you're probably starting you know probably at like 80,000 and more to be honest and your pay you know you just got to be you know when you come see your pay you guys should know you just got to be bold you just got to be bold. You got to ask for what you want. And the Lord shall provide, okay? So my second pro is going to be um, getting to interact with people, guys. Now, I am, <clears throat> I'm, I'm a people person, you know? I love people. 
I love, you know, interacting with people, but that also came with age. When I first started doing dental hygiene, I was one insecure because um, I was new and I really didn't know what the heck I was doing. And so I didn't really get to interact and build relationships with people as I can now. Like now it's like, I actually like going to work and um, I like the factor of getting to interact with my patients and getting to build that patient rapport. That is like number one in dental hygiene. You have to build patient rapport. You want people to come to you and feel comfortable. Like. People do not like going to the dental office, you guys. People do not like coming to see us. They are scared, they are nervous. Our number one jobs is to make people comfortable. Guys, you can't just be like sitting down and just cleaning teeth. You can't just sit your patients down and just be like, I'm just here to like clean your teeth and like to get you over and done with. Everything that you do, you have to find, it has to be deeper. You have to find a greater why behind what you do. The money factor is just is what it is, okay? Most of us aren't going to be doing stuff unless we're getting paid for it, okay? So that's just a given, right? But then digging deep into like really why are you choosing this career is super duper important, you guys, because we have to like, you know, find passion and peace within dental hygiene and so a big why for me of why i love my career why um, i keep showing up why i don't switch why i don't leave because there's other fields that can pay you too so the reason why i love it is because i just get to interact with patients i get to meet new people and because i want for everyone that comes and sits in my chair as a dental hygienist, I want them to, I want to change their perspective of dental. Like, I don't want people to be like leaving and be like, oh my gosh, I couldn't stand being there. Like, I'm so anxious. What I love most is when my patients are done, they're like, now I feel comfortable because we want them to keep coming back for their recares. We want them to keep coming back to get their treatment done with doctor. You know, you don't want to see people like suffering. And I always tell everyone, I'm like, you know, what goes in your mouth, like what's happening in your mouth, bacteria, infections, decay, whatever is in your mouth, we swallow that. Like every time we're eating, drinking, all of that stuff in there, we swallow, that flows through our body and it can negatively affect our health, okay? This is the root to our bodies. It's important that we're educating our patients about that and don't forget it. Do not forget it. Um, another pro is going to be a work-life balance now I say a work-life balance because in dental hygiene most of the time you'll probably see that you'll be if you decide on picking like a full-time job this is not temping or whatever but if you decide to like choose a full-time job most of the time you're probably gonna be working about four days most of the time i have seen offices only open about four days and you get three day weekends so because you're getting a higher pay you get to work less days of the week typically if you do work four days a week and you know you say you know i want to pick up an extra day or i need extra time another um pro is gonna be that we definitely have temping agencies guys like if you feel like you know you need more hours then you can definitely go online and get yourself with a temping agency and pick up a day or two at a different office so that is definitely a pro we have a good work life balance for the most part working in dental it's healthcare so healthcare is always going to be needed um, unless they start getting robots out here to clean teeth y'all then i'm in trouble then we're all in trouble let me see what else do i have on my list guys i wrote a little list so that's what i'm looking at um so my one last pro is that dental hygiene is only a two-year program it's only two years and you come out and you're making the same thing that some of our friends from high school that went to school for four years are making that being said i'm gonna get right into the cons because dental hygiene is a two-year program they cram a lot of information at one time and um 
the programs are very difficult guys very difficult i can only speak for myself but because i have worked with many other dental hygienists and now i actually switched states so i was i became a dental hygienist in pennsylvania for those of you who don't know me um and this year i actually um, moved to georgia i live in atlanta now getting to meet with different girls who you know graduated in georgia and then other girls who you know are coming to georgia that are new here in georgia as well and went to school in other places mostly well not mostly everyone everyone that i have come across has said that the dental hygiene program is very very hard it's very hard guys it's a lot of information and it's only in two years so with that being said you know personally for me for my program only 40 people are accepted um every year and um you have to have like a b plus or greater in all your science courses pretty much all your courses when you're applying to dental hygiene school you pretty much want to get straight a's and all your prerequisites so that you can get right into that program unless you did really really well in high school you can also get into a program for dental hygiene straight out of high school i don't know if you really want to do that but that's a different video so guys with the two-year program um it's just you know it takes your full focus after i got accepted i had like a little meeting with a guidance counselor and she was like listen you're gonna need to cut everything off you're gonna need to tell your family and your friends you are not available for the next two years of your life you're gonna need to tell them leave you alone you're not gonna be working you're probably gonna be you know broke like you know you just this has to have your full focus or else you will not make it and it scared me but i was like you know like probably can't be that it can't be that bad like dang when i got in there guys when i tell you it was it was pretty much true it was i didn't have much of a social life i was pretty much going to school during the week and getting homework and assignments done and then on the weekends was straight up study time because every single monday there was an exam so my whole weekend would be dedicated to just studying and also in between studying guys you're also trying to get projects done get papers done get assignments done and in between that it's just also clinical like the clinical portion for me dental hygiene school was like broken up into like you know the courses which is all the tests the homeworks blah 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 and then we had the clinical portion which we actually seen patients so on top of doing all the clinical i mean the paperwork stuff we also had the clinical and just the thought of all the stuff that went into clinical like you had to get your own patients you had to find specific patients blah 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 it was a lot it was a little crazy but it is very 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 much doable it is doable so i do not say that to allow that to like um scare anyone or frighten anyone i say that to just you know warn you to just really remember if you're trying to get into dental if you want to get into dental hygiene it takes focus that's it you know working is not really ideal in these two-year programs because there's not really much time some people did so i'm not saying that it's not doable but again it's better if you can just straight up focus and get it done i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you like i said i'm gonna keep it all the way 100 it was hard for me to get through school and um honestly there was no way at all that i was getting through if i did not pray if I didn't pray, if I didn't have a relationship with God, actually my relationship with God, strong. Like it got like, it zoned in. It was like, it was like this, it was just um, defined. Like my relationship with God was defined when I was in dental hygiene school, guys. Like I was praying nonstop on my knees, hands up in the air, um, even at school. You know, after taking a test, I would find me a corner and I would pray. So 
you know if you don't believe you better believe you better become a believer because it takes prayer you know it's not all on our might it's not it's not because there was girls that had way better grades than me and um got into that program quicker than i did and they didn't finish but you know who did this girl you know i don't come from a good background my high school was horrible when i got to college i was like um what do you mean homework what do you mean papers like my high school was not good it was <laughs> it was a crazy high school it was you know all the things but god seriously but god and i was able to push through and honestly i might you know be a better hygienist than some of the girls no i'm kidding when you use god things are sustainable okay we're gonna we're not gonna get too deep into preaching but just know i encourage you above all of this information that i'm giving you to pray to the lord the lord jesus our savior seriously guys get with it or get lost all right guys next um one of the cons that i did write down is finding a full-time position so let me just tell you guys <clears throat> hold on guys i'm talking so much like i could really just use a drink i have no water hold on you guys i need to get some water this is too much talking all right guys who had to kick my foot up this is a lot first six months after i graduated i actually worked part-time my first part-time job was three months and my second part-time job was three months that's like a whole story time on its own but my first full-time my first job ever in dental hygiene was an absolute nightmare if you guys want to know a story time about that dental hygiene job comment down below and even hearing stories about dental hygiene from other ladies i guess it depends on your like where you live i'm sure like i said again larger cities it's probably easier for you to find a full-time position um, and then plus we have so many different temping opportunities living in larger cities versus when I lived back in Pennsylvania. I know a lot of girls were working multiple part-time jobs just to make full-time hours. Can be a little bit difficult. Some people are finding full-time jobs right out of school. All right guys, so the next con I am gonna have to say the benefit. With that being said about finding a full-time position, if you're working multiple part-time jobs, if you're working um, temping, if you decide that you just want to temp because temping, you are making really good money. So if you decide on those two options, you're going to have to pay for your own benefits. That's a little bit difficult for me, okay? I don't like the whole idea of paying six, $700 a month for benefits. So I like to have a job that offers benefits. But even with these full-time corporate dental jobs, sometimes what I have personally realized is that the benefits still aren't that great. I'm not saying that there are not corporate offices in dental field that don't do that because there are, and I've come across them, like whether that was doing research or whatever, there are some, but a lot of them, the benefits just aren't as great as other fields, just to be honest. Like we don't, my full-time job that I have right now has a 401k, but they do not do matching. They have benefits, but I still have to pay, I think I'm paying like $70, $80 out of pocket for my benefits every month. And then still on top of it, when I go in, I still have a copay. Also working as a dental hygienist, I don't have dental benefits. But thankfully, I get things done in my office for free. Like you would suggest that like as long as you build a good relationship with your doctor that you're working under or whatever, that um, they would do your work for you for like free or discounted, whatever. But some do not, guys. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to say one more, guys. I think I'm going to wrap this video up because it's kind of long um i'm looking at my list and i think the last one that i'm gonna say is as a dental hygienist i feel like 
the opportunities are a little bit limited. I feel like you have to work directly under the doctor, which cha sometimes can be annoying depending on who your doctor is. Some of I've worked with some doctors that are like, I trust you, like, you know, to you know, treat your patients, you know, when it comes to us doing perio, when it comes to us recommending fluoride, sealants, whatever it is as a dental hygienist. And if you don't know what that is, basically some things that as dental hygienists we offer to our patients as preventatives. Now, some doctors are going to be like, no, me can't get, me can't get, I don't want to do that. That's not, good, that's not a good idea. So that's the one thing, you know, we have to work under these folks seems like kind of in a box to me personally now if there's other dental hygienists out there who believe differently comment down below so i can get your perspective but for me it's kind of limited and then the next step that you would take probably as a dental hygienist is going to dental school and if you only went to dental hygiene school two years and got your associate's degree didn't get a bachelor's so you still have to go back to school to get a bachelor's degree then take the test and then go to dental school guys i first got into dental hygiene i had like this false reality that i would only have to go back to school for like two more years to become a dentist i don't know why i had that thought but yeah like being a dentist takes a lot more going to medical school so it takes a lot more courses and time and tests to get there so yeah guys um i'm gonna wrap this video up there because i've been talking for a while my mouth is dry and i'm tired and i don't know what i'm talking about anymore but guys i do want to say overall even though i went through pros and cons i have been a dental hygienist for seven years and i really love my field i love what i do so i do think that it's a great career i just wanted to say that but i did you know want to get pros and cons so if you're looking into it and you want more information you can always comment down below you can add me on instagram and you can dm me so that you know i can give you more insight on whatever else i did not answer in this video um, I can also make another video, just maybe like a question and answer type of vibe. Let me know. But for right now, guys, I am going to wrap this video up. So I want to say if you're going into dental hygiene, I wish you all the blessings and um, you can do it. You can definitely, definitely, definitely do it. Trust me, guys. If I child let me tell you if i can do it you can do it for sure okay if you're already in dental hygiene make sure you add me on instagram so that we can be dental hygiene sisters our brothers and sisters if you want more about dental hygiene on my channel please 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 make sure that you like this video and you comment down below because if you don't then i will i really won't know if this information is helpful at all but alright, thanks for watching and I hope you have a beautiful, blessed rest of your day. Bye!